This also had a charge out of the box and wow, it's far brighter than I was expecting, especially when I look at it when I'm turning it on. And it says that there are five modes. It's a low, medium, and a high, and those are supposed to be solid modes. Then it says there's a strobe and an SOS mode. Now this enclosure, this alloy enclosure, also looks to be sealed, so it should resist water pretty well. And on the bottom is the sealed charge port. So let me get the charges topped up on both these lights and we'll see how they do on a bright sunny day. There's no test for that like checking the waterproofing. So I put it out in the rain and let nature do its thing for an entire day. And surprisingly, even that volcano tail light did well in the rain, even in torrential downpours. So make sure you have these properly lined up because if you don't and you put them together, it's nearly impossible to get them apart. So trust me, it's a mistake that you don't want to make. So there's lots to like about this light. I mean, I really do like it, and I think it's a great value for the money. But there are a few areas where it maybe doesn't hit the target right on the bullseye. I've already mentioned the battery indicator button being difficult to see in the daylight, and that's because it's a rubber power button that's white and a small LED underneath it. Not very effective in daylight. And also don't like the way this light powers off and back on. It powers off like normal. You can press and hold, or you can cycle through to the off setting. But when you turn it back on, no matter what setting it was previously on, it's going to revert back to setting 1. And that means if you like the strobe or the SOS, every time you turn the light back on, you're going to have to press 3 or 4 times to get it back to your setting. It's kind of annoying, but definitely not a deal killer. And I mentioned the weight and size. If you don't like weight, the 240 grams or the 8.5 ounces are going to be probably heavy for you. And if you don't like big lights, this is 4 by 2 by 1 inches, so it's not small. But if you think about it, for a dual light with a 5200 milliamp hour battery, that's really not all that big. I know that Volcano tail light's not all that impressive. I look at it as a free add-on for what I believe is a very worthy headlight, one that I can't wait to use on a mountain bike trail night ride. And I'm going to guess that the other riders are not going to believe that it was only $23.99 when they see how much of the trail it lights up. 